Thank you for watching. Uh, if you found any of this amusing or if you find any of this that I'm about to cover uh, educational in any way, please like, uh, subscribe for more of the same content. You know, I, I try to do as many projects as I can, really try to push myself, you know, outside of the envelope as much as possible on these canvases. You know, I, I'm trying to do as many as I can that have as many deep color patterns as possible. So, you know, make sure you subscribe to see some more of the work that's coming up. And you know, I do a lot of mirrors, uh, a lot of portraits. Uh, so anyways, getting right into it. This was a four by six canvas. I get those from Dollar Tree. I, I like those because I get a three pack for $1.25. Uh, that allows me to do a lot of testing fast. Uh, I burn through a lot of them quick. I could burn through a dozen of them in, uh, in one day. You know, depending on what, what I'm doing. If I do a lot of black and white portraits. Uh, you know, especially recently, I've been dialing in my settings uh, for my 10 watt. And you'll see uh, at the end, I'll share all that. So, you know, getting right into it here. Looking at the original image of the dragon. You know, I try to pick wallpapers that are high resolution. That are uh, slightly monochromatic. Uh, as far as my painting, I always start with a white base. Uh, I, I try to spray a nice even single layer. I wait about 30 minutes in between my layers, um, and then I wait about three hours after my last layer, which is the mask, which is usually my, well, you know, usually black. Uh, so this this canvas in particular, I started with white, uh, then I worked my way from from the brightest colors to the darkest colors. So I use white, yellow, orange, red, and then black for the mask. Uh, <clears throat> alright, so getting into Imager and prepping this image, this is the offline version. Uh, we want to find our, our image, I like the drag and drop, bam, alright, so this one it is uh, a little bit more obscure than the size of the canvas that I'm using, so I, in this instance I'm actually going to resize before I crop. So resize inches, uh, and as usual, I like to oversize. So it's a four by six canvas. Uh, so I like to make it, you know, about, again, uh, 0 0.05 bigger. <clears throat> and you see that my width is actually longer. So now I'm going to go back and crop, and I'm going to crop my width a little bit smaller. All right, so I'm going to do my DPI 318 for my laser. Uh, I cover this in the in my mirror video with uh, uh, Morticia. All right, so now I'm going to go back and crop inches. I'm going to do similar similar size here. And uh, that's exactly where I want it. So, okay. All right, material. So for my canvases, especially these really, really detailed, like almost three-dimensional ones, I like to use Nero because it's, uh, I feel like it gives you the sharpest image already. And then after you auto adjust, it really, really tightens it up. And then for the canvases, I use uh, white tile painted black. No matter which, which material I select for the canvases, I use white tile painted black. Select OK. All right, now I want to auto adjust down the bottom left. Auto adjustment, apply. And you'll see that's going to really tighten up the transition lines. 
Now that's really what's going to help bring the, the color gradient that I built with the paint through, you know, while uh, making sure that I pick the correct power and speed. And you see already how it makes, you know, all, all the transitions a little bit more robust. You see the more detail in his wings, on his face, his teeth. All right, I'm really happy with this, so uh, I'm going to save it. All right, now I'm going to go into Lightburn. I'm going to import my dragon. Very important, we don't resize or change the image in any way afterwards. Uh, you know, all that has to happen in Imager, if you change the size afterwards or you scale it afterwards, uh, it will not it will not look correct. All right, as far as layers, it gave it a generic layer. So as far as my power and speeds, so I've done a lot of testing and I actually have a, a, a bit of an algorithm that I figured out for my 10 watt X tool uh, in regards to how many layers of paint there are versus the amount of power while keeping the speed the same. Uh, you, you could change both, but I found that 100 is fairly quick for my original 10 watt X tool D1. Uh, so looking at the colors, you can see black and white starting at the bottom is two, you know, I count the black and the white as individual coats. So, uh, looking at the image that I'm doing here, you know, I did white, uh, yellow, orange, red, and black. That's five colors. So I actually ran this one at hundred millimeters a second, 38% power. So that's what I'm going to set it at 138. All right, in this instance, negative is going to be off. I know for the mirrors, I turn negative on, but I use a different algorithm. And then anytime you run an image through Imager or any other dithering software, you want to make sure you turn pass through on so that way uh, it doesn't change the, the DPI of, of the image that you processed. And uh, this is ready to frame and run. Uh, thanks again for listening. Uh, if you found this useful, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to go through more of these uh, again as much as I can. I'm going to try and make as much content as possible and just document uh, you know, all, all the work that I'm commissioned. And uh, especially again through the holidays, I got a lot of, you know, I, I actually sell files. So, uh, you know, I've got a lot of files that are almost like blanks. Um, so, you know, look for those. And, uh, thanks again. And take care.